This is quite literally outstanding. It's a Christmas miracle. Hey you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to The Garage Couple. My name is Aline. And my name is Greg, and these are our Jeeps. these babies from the ground up and documented every last mod on them on our YouTube channel. So if there's anything on the Jeeps that you particularly like, just click that search button on our YouTube channel and I bet you'll find the video. We are so excited to launch the month of December. It is going to be filled with giveaways, activities, and all the goods for the Jeeps. We've been literally waiting for this month for 11 months. On today's episode, we are going to be showing you the best Jeep gifts for a TJ and a JK for those Jeep lovers in your family. We're also announcing our month of giveaways totaling over $5,000 in Jeep parts given away over this month. So if you're interested in the best Jeep mods for Christmas as well as the giveaway, please stay tuned. Now why don't you hop on Santa's sleigh? There's coffee in your hand, babe. Okay, we can, we can fix that. Do I get gifts after this? You got one gift. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Santa Claus. Cheers to you, fair maiden. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up the JK, review the mods on the JK, and then pull up the TJ and review the mods on the TJ, just so we cover all the bases. Now, why don't you tell them what the number one gift that you could possibly get to a Jeep lover is? We searched far and wide, all the way to the North Pole, right, Greg? What was that? And the number one gift you can get those Jeep lovers is Garage Couple merch. You guys, I have spent quite a bit of time making the greatest and best merch for you guys. Make sure to check it out. It will be below the video right there. And if you feel inclined, go ahead and take a purchase. So these are just some examples. I'm, I'm rocking our team Greg. And she's rocking the team Aline. So let's see who gets more support. If you haven't done so, check us out on Instagram. But for now, let's start with the Jeep JK. Let's do it. Maybe we should just get the reindeers to pull it, huh? Grab those keys and bring her out. Bring them out, bring them out. Alrighty, I, while Aline is pulling it up, I'm gonna grab this flashlight over here and I'm gonna say that this is one of the best Jeep TJ mods. Let's just see if she goes along with it, okay? Stick around, let's see what happens. So let's take you around the JK. Come on down. My first must have Christmas gift for the JK is this footstep, you guys. I use this all the time, whether I'm going to the beach just to sit on the roof or just to hang out by my house. It's super sturdy and very, very easy to install. Let me show you. Pretty good, pretty good. All the links to these gift ideas will be right below the video for you to check them out. This footstep is also extremely durable, you guys. I've had it on the Jeep for about two years now and there is no rust or wiggle or movement at all. We absolutely love it. And the reason that is, is because it is powder coated really nicely and has this very durable finish. Let's move on to gift idea number two. In the Jeep we go. Idea number two are these amazing handlebars by Wild Boar, you guys. I've also had these on for about two years and they're extremely sturdy, especially with the lift kit, you guys. If you're driving other people, they may need some assistance to get in. It so, also doubles as a mask holder for these does. troubled times. It does, it does. They have them in the front and the rear, so let's show you the rears also. There you have the back seats. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, they are so rock solid. It can rock the whole Jeep and it has no issues whatsoever. Next on my list is a locking gas cap. This is a must have. We have had some close calls with people taking our gas, coming to our Jeep without any gas. So having a locking gas cap takes about five minutes to put in, just a couple screws, four screws in particular, 
And you keep the keys on your keys, right? Nice. Smooth. And here are the screws that I was talking about. Four of them. One, two, three, and four. This gift is a must-have if you love being outdoors and camping. This is my bottle opener, you guys. Took about two minutes to put in. You just use these same screws that were already here. Very functional, easy to use, sturdy, and again, no rust at all. Looks great on the Jeep. I wish I could show you guys how to use it, but we might have to get to that after we film, right, Greg? That's right. <laughs> Cannot wait. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Next on my list are these replacement hinges. Early on when we had the Jeep, we were experiencing hood flutter, and this got rid of it completely. Their powder coated hinges completely got rid of that hood flutter, and again, very easy to install. Let me show you guys. Wow, what an install. I want to show you how to use it. <laughs> Super sturdy. More recently, Gotta give a shout out to my new rims and tires, you guys. I got Rock Tricks rims and Radar tires. I am absolutely obsessed with these babies. Just look at the sidewall of the tires and look at that rim. Literally have gotten so many compliments and we just put them on. Isn't that right, Aline? And we re-geared, you guys. Woo! Woo. <laughs> <laughs> And just as a side note, it drives so much better after the re-gear. Honestly, if you're on the fence about it with your 3.21 Jeep JK on 37s, please just go ahead and just throw your money at the person that's going to re-gear it. It's worth every penny. <laughs> I know I forgot to mention my headlights, which are definitely on my list for must-have. Now, we love it so much that we're going to be giving away headlights for the next three weeks, you guys. We will be giving away a set a week. Each week, stay tuned to see how you are going to enter. Now, let me show you the headlights. <laughs> so what Aline has here are some LED headlights by Super Re. Now, if you haven't seen us install these in the past, these are the gold standard, the Bentley, if you will. Now, these headlights are fully loaded with every feature you're going to need for either your JK or your TJ. You can also make them work for the JL. Now these things have daytime running lights as well as blinkers in all four. That includes those fog lights and those headlights. They're very easy to wire and they're incredibly bright. And just make sure when you install them, you point them downwards so that you don't blind your oncoming traffic. If you could follow those simple steps as well as watch our video on how we installed it, you can get yourself a nice pair of these LED headlights. So why don't you tell us how we can go ahead and win those every week? So here's how to enter in the giveaway. You must be 18 or older and in the US. Drop your name and where you're from in the comments below, along with a Christmas joke. We love your jokes, you guys. We did the Halloween jokes, and if you know, we've already given away six LED headlights in the last six months. We're excited to give away three in the next three weeks. But that's not all for our giveaways. We have one monster giveaway, which we're gonna announce at the end of this episode. So stay tuned. Let's move on to the TJ next. Let's go. Look at how nice the TJ looks, just waiting patiently for its turn. Back. Honestly, the TJ is so much better. If you think the JK is better, we are going to have some issues. We're going to find out who buys what merch, Greg, real soon. Real soon. Honestly, Team TJ, nah. all day, every day. Team Alling, JK, baby, JK. See, I'm saying Team TJ, you're saying Team Alling. That's right. Alling, <laughs> JK. It's one and the same. One oh the my same. goodness. All right, let's move on to the JK. Come on, give me the camera. Do you hear me? Yeah. So move on to the JK. Oh, ha, ha, ha. So now it is time to talk about my favorite mods on my Jeep Wrangler TJ, the better of the two Wranglers. Greg, relax. <laughs> now, mod number one is going to be this magnetic flashlight that I went ahead and made it myself. This thing actually attaches to any metal surface <laughs> and offers some good light in both directions. What do you think, Aline? Is this a good mod or what? No. Put it in the Jeep. Put it back. All right. Sipping on that haterade for sure. My for sure. Work. I can't wait for you to see. I can't wait for Aline to see what I did with this earlier. Plan didn't work. Anyways, item number one are these aux beam LED light pods. Now these guys over here have been one of my favorite mods on my Jeep Wrangler TJ. And the reason is, as you know, I don't have the massive light bar on the top. I have these two pods as well as their over the hood light pod. 
or their light bar. Between the three of these, it is so incredibly bright that I don't need any more light in the front, especially including the LED headlight. Now, if you saw the install video, I didn't actually add any switches at all. I just wired it into that high beam light, so they all come on when I put the high beam, only when I use it off-road. Don't use it on-road anymore. Continuing on with exterior lighting, one of my favorite mods so far are these LED tail lights. Now these, thing, these things wired right up. It required a little bit of modification, but it's no problem for the garage couple. We made a full video on the install of these. They cost about $30 or so shipped directly to you from Amazon. And they even include a nice license plate light. So they're totally street legal. Now they're also really bright. This is the way it looks without the brake. Why don't I go ahead and press the brake and you can take a look. Now by far the most unique mod on this TJ is this Highline off-road tire carrier that we installed with these 38 inch Milestar tires on the rear. So now Allin has the DV8 body mount tire carrier and if you haven't seen the series of videos of the install and review, please check it out. Bottom line, do not recommend it for anyone whatsoever. In fact, we put the 37 inch tire on it and now we can't even access the trunk because the tailgate window doesn't open anymore. So you're gonna have to figure that one out. Now on our pre previous TJ, we had a latch, a gate latch style rear bumper. So that makes it two steps to get to the trunk. Not to mention it only holds up to a 35 inch tire. Now with, these, with this bumper, you only have one latch and that's the original latch. And that is because the tire actually rests on the bumper but opens with the tailgate. Now why don't you check that mechanism out? That, that is some American engineering right there. <laughs> So as I close it, it goes ahead and goes as one piece. Easy as that. I'll drop the link to Highline Off-Road in the description so you could check it out for yourself. We're thinking about maybe getting one for the JK2. We just have to figure out what we're gonna do with all those holes that we, you know, we put into the Wrangler. You put into the Wrangler, you right put babe? In, you put, you it put it in. in. You put JK's worth. <laughs> put your little pepper to peel in there. What's next, babe? All right, so if you have a friend with a Jeep Wrangler TJ, make sure you get them these two mods, which add up to under 30 bucks. Number one are these cowl covers, which add this nice mean look to the front, as well as protect this area from the side mirrors when your door latches are off. That's number one. They're cheap enough, why not? Number two are, is this stubby, stubby little antenna here that replaces that ginormous antenna that comes stock with the Jeep Wrangler TJs. Now, the beauty of this system is that it still sounds great and it looks a lot more visually appealing. It literally screws on and we've made a video on how to install both of those items, so check it out on our channel. Now, last but not least, we have our absolute favorite mod for our Jeep Wrangler TJ and that is this Patriot Fastbacks Century Style Hardtop on this Wrangler TJ. Now, if you notice, the windows are square or rectangle, they're recessed, the exterior is raptor lined and the interior has this marine grade lining so that it not only stays quiet and warm, but it also stays clean, unlike Allings JK Wrangler. What? <laughs> this kind of looks like mine, right, Greg? Kind of. A little better though. <laughs> but the reason we mentioned this one at the very end is guess what? Guess what? We are giving away a Patriot Fastbacks hardtop either for the Jeep Wrangler JK or the Jeep Wrangler TJ. Happy dance, happy dance. Go for it, go. Can you believe this? <laughs> We're literally able to give one of these away and it could not have been possible without the support from Patriot Fastbacks. So if you haven't checked out their page or their channel, we'll drop some links in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Now, as far as the giveaway, so we are going to be announcing the winner on Christmas Day. On December 25th, we are going to announce the winner. So the giveaway this time around is going to go a little bit differently, so make sure you listen to these instructions. Number one, it is free for everyone over the age of 18 to enter the giveaway. So the way to enter, one of the ways to enter, is to just comment below your name, your vehicle, and exactly which top you would like. So we have two choices for the Jeep Wrangler JK. They are some awesome styles to choose from, so you could go ahead and pick one of those two. 
Now, if you want it for the TJ, it's gonna be the Century Style Hardtop, just like the one that we run ourselves. Now, a couple things to mention. If you are on the West Coast, more specifically near Southern California, you can go ahead and pick up the hardtop yourself direct from Patriot Fastbacks, and they will even install it for you at their shop. In Riverside, right? Which is in the city of Riverside, California. Now, if you're not around here or you're anywhere else, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a commercial address. Uh, so if you can possibly befriend someone with a commercial address, they're gonna go ahead and deliver the hardtop direct to you at the commercial address. This is because they need a forklift and one of those vehicles that are capable of carrying, I believe it's like five, 600 pounds. Now, one other thing, the winner is gonna be responsible for shipping. Now, depending on where you're located, that could range from anywhere from a couple hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars. This thing is massive and it costs a lot of money to ship it across country. But in any case, it's worth thousands of dollars and so it's definitely a huge upgrade and awesome, awesome part to add to your Jeep Wrangler. Anyway. So that first way to enter was dropping your name below and where you are from. There's more ways to enter to increase your chances. Now, if you want to increase your chances on winning that hardtop, all you have to do is buy some of our merchandise and every dollar that you spend is an extra entry into the giveaway. So if you buy our hoodies, which we're excited to show and reveal, that will get you about 30 entries into the giveaway. Once you buy the merch, all you have to do is screenshot that confirmation, email it over to garagecouple at gmail.com along with your name so I can make sure that those entries go through. Once you get that confirmation, all you have to do is screenshot it so I can see what you purchased along with your name, email it over to at garage, not at garage couple, that's Instagram, garage couple at gmail.com. You could also Instagram it over at that's garage couple. As long as it gets to us, it will be counted and entered. We have a lot more giveaways coming up for the month of December, you guys. We have a special one in the works. We love spreading this Jeep joy with all of you guys. So thank you so much for coming along for the ride. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at Garage Couple and stay tuned, you guys. Our next two episodes are surprise Jeep gifts for Greg and I swapping. So stay tuned for all that good content. I definitely think I got Aline a better gift, but we're gonna find out. We'll find out. So thank you so much for watching. We're so excited to be in this position to give away all of these parts. Thank you for all of your support. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow and helps do more awesome things like this. For now, Merry Christmas, Happy Thanksgiving, and bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. <laughs> Went away. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. That wasn't cool at all. It's the worst feeling ever.